We're here at Summit Fun, and we've come down to look at propulsion of the future, I'll call it. I'm pretty excited about electric, and a lot of people are pretty excited about electric, and one of them is this guy here. I'm Dan Johnson, and I'm talking with Chip Irwin, an old friend of the business, and Chip, what am I looking at here, and what am I holding? I mean, I can see it says battery, but this doesn't look like a D cell to me, so what have I got in my hands? It's a backup battery. The real battery is over here. Those are the real things this is just to, to look at. Last year I flew into Southern Point on electric power on the Zigalo. And I flew it here and I flew it back to my home base. And cross country under electric. Cross country under electric. It wasn't very far, but it was a new system and I wanted to test it and it was off the shelf uh, uh, components and it was conservative and it worked. And I wanted to see if it, it did work and I wanted to see if I liked it. And it turns out it's so much nicer than two stroke. I don't have to climb for altitude right away. I don't have to climb for altitude at all. I can stay low. And wh why slow. is that? Why would you Why would you say that, what you just said? Well, two strokes stop stroking. They're much better now than they used to be, but I started flying ultralights in the 80s, early 80s, and I had three hit failures just at Oshkosh. And so what you like about this is the reliability. Absolutely. Again, okay. And you turn the, what we'll call a throttle, but which is effectively a rheostat, rheostat right? Rheostat, yeah. And so rheostat slash throttle, I guess we'll have to learn some new terms. I already learned that in flying one electric aircraft. Push that rheostat throttle forward and it works. Is that it? Right, right. And, and, and the Zigolo is designed as a part 103 ultralight, so you can have the 45 minute quiet evening flight mission, or as a motor glider, but it's more of a motor floater, so you can do the self-launching with the electric, climb up a bit and start catching thermals, turn it off, and if you need a little bit of boost to get back to the airport and catch the next thermal or to climb a little higher, just spin it right up. You don't have to look for a cord, pull, open, two stroke, it doesn't, starts again. And uh, noise, you get a little noise out of the prop, but other than that, there's this cool well, kind of that whine last year. that happens. That was last year. All right, something new? Well, to get the power with the older technology and the, the, the Electric motors built for scooters, motorcycles, washing machines, they spin fast. If you spin fast, you end up with a lot of propellant. Ah, okay. This you're so looking at here is the first aircraft motor. Now this, this motor right here we're talking about. Designed here. for aircraft. Ah, okay. So everybody else is adapting something exactly. else. Exactly. So it's kind of like an automobile they're, they're engine well, version is not they, as optimal yeah. as a custom designed engine. Exactly. So okay. this has up to 75 horsepower. This? This. Wow. And it weighs 25 pounds. But I'll never use that much horsepower. It's more than I need and it'll drain the batteries very quickly. Yes, I would imagine. I'll use 25 horsepower to take off. And then I'll go down to 10 to 12 horsepower to maintain my flight. And I'll fly up to an hour with reserve on this battery pack. Now, this thing that you're pointing at over here and this component of which I'm holding in my hand, that's an entire battery pack for to go with this motor in your airplane? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. This, and so this was the template that fits inside the airframe. Ah, okay. That's what will actually fit in there. And if you look at it, it, is a, it fits perfectly. 21 cells, the controller, the battery management This system, being one cell. This is a light pole with the polymer. Better. Okay, and you have 21 of those in there. That adds up to 84 volts. It adds up to basically an hour of endurance of flight is what really counts. With this motor running it at the reduced power. To take off, climb to a, a reasonable altitude, either high enough for a self launch soaring sortie or a 45 minute down slow evening flight. This battery, the, we could put more batteries on and fly longer, but the trick is to stay within part 103. Okay, so that's a great question then. First of all, let's, is that heavy? Uh, it's 60 pounds. That's six, what I'm looking at right there. Is that an actual there? That's yeah, not a mock-up? That, this is a real, this is what we're going to, it's a plug-and-play basically. That, that's what's going in the airplane. Exactly. This, this is this finished. Motor and you're going on. This is finished. Okay. This, between those. Right. Well, there's four things. You need to contain it. Let's keep the gas from expanding. Keep it cool with the airflow. Have a battery management system with both manages and balances the charging and the discharging. And then educate the pilot not to run the batteries below the minimum. Those four things, and they never have a failure with these. Perfectly Is that right? Safe. 
with this type of battery, we can make any configuration we want. We put these carbon rods in here and put them parallel like this and stack them up. We can make them into a leading edge of a wing. Oh, really? We can fit a compartment of just about any aircraft that, and put them in wing lockers and leading edges. Yeah, and now, wouldn't that be on. an interesting thing to do to put battery weight in the wings? Put I mean, all the weight in the fuselage, the wing spar has to hold it. If you put it out in the wings, then that wing spar is, is only holding the pilot, not the extra battery. Weight. So that's where the weight belongs. That's why, and in fact, that's where anything volatile like fuel belongs as well. Yeah, well, it makes sense. The only thing that really works now that's a viable aircraft is one that doesn't require a lot of energy to fly. Right. So light aircraft is where electric is working today. Exactly. Now the Zigolo is a has a huge advantage of flying slow. And that's a little bit draggy, but it doesn't really matter because you're going only 30 miles an hour. And developing two more aircraft that have a much less drag. But they're still very light because they're single seat and they have low drag because they have low frontal area and they're clean airframes and the same power but they'll go instead of 30 miles an hour they'll go 90 miles an hour. And again with those new airplanes that we talked about this over at the German Aero Show just barely a week ago and I, I, I'm familiar with one of the airplanes already called the Merlin. I think we did a video on it actually. A nice handsome little airplane that I guess they didn't keep developing and you're now involved with it. You're going to use this package on that you envision? Perfectly. I, uh, the first thing I'll do is put a four stroke because uh, I think it's an excellent aircraft now that we've uh, been able to find suitable small, light, four stroke. And the second thing I'll do is put the electric on. So just like with the Zigolo, you'll offer it with a gasoline engine right. or with electric? Exactly. Okay, but, but, not, but not will this be the motor for yes. that airplane though? Yes. This it does, what'd you say, 75, 80 horsepower, yeah, right? Well, again, it, and that's what it, it's capable of. Capable, okay. But those aircraft require 30 to 40 horsepower and to take off and then they'll be flying at 20 horsepower at cruise, right, right, right. and they can carry twice the battery, so they'll be going 80, 90, 100 miles an hour and still have range. Let's talk about the uh, the, re the replacement time of this setup. I buy this thing from you today, how long before I've got to change these cells out? Let's talk Probably about... never. Can I answer one at a time? Okay, sure. It's a, it's a, the batteries are 2,000 cycle. Charge. Okay, so translate that. Then. So that means if you use it for an hour, that's 2,000 hours of flying. But if you fly 50 hours a year, you can do the math. And Long time. these are recyclable, of course. Oh, uh, they are. So okay. you can send them back to us and we'll uh, get them back up to 100%. Because they'll gradually they'll go down to 90 or 80 percent. I see that 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 so-called right. memory effect, that whether that's the right yeah. term or not. Yeah. You're losing nice a little bit over These don't have memory, but they lose some of the they lose some of their capacity. They don't, they don't go all the way back. But up you can restore that. But it's going to take it's going to take quite a few years before you get to that point. Okay. And today, if I buy these batteries, about what is it going to cost? Well, me? put the disclaimer in. We haven't set the price, but the if you buy the the complete system, which is the only way it'll really work, you need the computer program and everything matched and integrated. It's uh, around eleven thousand dollars. And would that include the motor too? Then yeah, that no, number. Complete. Okay, so that's this whole package to make yeah. the airplane go in the air. Right. Twenty-one cells, controller, battery management system, charging unit, the electric motor, and the propeller. And if you bought the Ziggolo with the electric power option, you get a complete flying airplane. Well, not quite flying, you have to put 100 hours of uh, assembly into it for about $20,000. I would fly a, a lot more electric. Which, just because it's just a more pleasant experience. Oh, it's so much nicer. Just, it, it just go 300 feet and with that new propeller system and the low RPM, I, I'm bringing in a, a quieter uh, propeller technology and much slower RPM. So that's about 80% of that noise. And it's like 99% of the, the engine noise is gone. There's only a little bit of of wind in your face like a motorcycle but it's a quiet motorcycle right. so you can fly 300 feet and really enjoy it so so if i say wow i'm convinced i love the idea of electric flight you got the airplane already you've already sampled it but this is still in the, you're just finishing with this when can i get one 
you can buy the aircraft now. But I mean, with this power package on it, that that I've, I've been taking orders for now because okay. we're now we're much closer to actually delivering. It's about one more month of testing, and then about another one to two months. Um, after testing that we can actually deliver the power plant completely. Okay. So, so basically summer, late summer, 2015. A little sooner. People are thinking about buying the airframe now. Oh, okay, now. starting to work on the airframe. You can buy the airframe itself for eight, without any uh, two-stroke on it for $8,000. Okay, and, just a bare airframe. And you can start putting that together. Basically, by the time you would get that and get it finished, you would have, You'll to, have this. Have this which is, and this is going to be sort of bolt on. Oh yeah, or Absolutely. completely bolt on. Be very simple. All right, so that's a pretty interesting package. Uh, in the very near future, we'll call it, based on today's video, most of the components are ready. Airframe is ready. Tell me a little bit about what the endurance of that package is. How long you can fly with that? Well, for the normal missions uh, of uh, evening flight, you can fly 45 minutes and have 15 to 20 minutes extra reserve, okay. so more than an hour. For the self-launching flight, you can basically fly all day because you're just flying 10 minute launch and then drive it up 10 minutes to catch the soaring conditions. Right down the th soaring okay. conditions. All right, so I go up and I do fly it around. I, I I take it down to the place where you should stop flying. I imagine that's not to zero, I'm guessing. Yeah, but right. uh, then I land, and then how long before I'm ready to go again if I wanted to go again? It's uh, two and a half to three hours. Two and a half to three hours recharge time. Yeah. Okay. Or, well, or you can just uh, put some solar cells on your hangar and come back the next week and uh, fly it in the weekend. All right. Sounds Start good, Chip. A lot of good information about the Zigolo. We either available with gasoline engine or this new electric we've been talking about where do we get more information how do we contact you on the website well, aerogreen-lsa.com all right very good and lots more about the Zigolo. lots more about all kinds of affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com thanks for joining chipper and myself here at sunny